What would you do if you could only have sex once in your life and you die afterwards? Ooh. This has got to be the most depressing thing in the world. But believe me when I tell you that male bees can only mate once in their lives. This video shows a drone and a queen bee doing their thing in the middle of the road. Everything seems fine at first, then it took a dark turn when the drone finished its deed and tried to pull away from the queen. It looks like the creature was stuck and was in so much pain. And as the queen flew away, the drone's abdomen was ripped off, killing it in seconds. Now that was insane. But what happened to the drone? Why do male bees die after mating? This is actually not something out of the norm. Male bees can only mate once in their lives and they will definitely die after doing it. Sounds weird, but it's actually very easy to understand. If you've ever been stung by a bee, you'll know what I'm talking about. Bees are likely to die after stinging because they have what's known as a barbed stinger. They can sting other insects and survive, but their stingers cannot cope with the thick skin of mammals. So, if a bee stings a human, chances are its stinger will get stuck in the skin. And as the bee tries to pull away, it eventually ruptures its lower abdomen, leaving the stinger embedded, and it dies. Same thing happens to male bees when they mate. They also die a gruesome death. But first, they have to fight before they can mate with the queen. I call this the Game of Drones. The drones form a ball around the queen as they wrestle for a chance to mate. Males attack their rivals with their powerful jaws and spiny legs until only one survives. And this one will get to experience the noble death. As the drone grasps the queen, he inverts his endophallus using a contraction of his abdominal muscles and inserts it tightly into the queen's reproductive tract. He immediately ejaculates with such explosive force that the tip of his endophallus is left behind inside the queen and his abdomen ruptures. The drone falls to the ground where he dies soon after. The next drone removes the previous drone's endophallus and inserts his, mates, and then dies as well. Sometimes, the drones would try to blind the queen with their toxic semen in order to stop the queen from mating with other drones, as they want to ensure their genes are among those that get passed on. Because the temporarily blind queen will stop engaging in additional mating flights if she can't fly. It's kind of bizarre, but well, whatever works for them, I guess. The male honeybee exists for one reason and one reason only, to mate with a virgin queen. Even though they always end up dead, they take their mission seriously, and they are willing to give their lives for the cause. I don't think that I can do that, though. But would you? Be sure to let me know. I'll see you in another episode of Worldpedia.